Hi. Here we are at a, a location that's used for active learning. This is actually put together by a professor of physics at a university in Rochester, New York. And this serves as the laboratory for her first year physics students. Her name is Professor Odd Professor. And I'm trying to see. I think it's Snoodle. In any case, all of these installations, the, ca the cannons, the bowling alley, the shooting gallery, the free fall tower, and a variety of other installations that are inside of the two museums on either side of us and down <coughs> the hill from the museum in another open area. These are all um, laboratory tasks essentially. The students in this particular one are studying velocity and trajectory. And what they do is click on this little note card giver and it pops up a, a note. Yes, odd Professor Snoodle. These are her shooting gallery instructions. And when they appear, the student reads through this and it gives them the description of the task and what the assignment is going to be. What is the thing that they have to do? So they're, they're going to be shooting through these, these cylinders all the way to the end and they're going to be putting, put, putting together a graph showing displacement versus time and velocity versus time. Since I'm a physicist, I have no idea why this is important, but it's something that comes from the curriculum of her first semester college students in a physics class. And it's a way to get the students in and engaged in doing their tasks as well as giving them a way to do these tasks while um, at any time just by logging on to their computers. You can see over here in this building what she's doing is something called physics of matter. Now I'm going to show you <clears throat> a couple of passive learning sites in a minute that are more relevant to us and then later on I'll take you on a tour of Atlantic University in Second Life. So that's all for this one.